Now we are going to set up the Coulomb balance and attach the slide assembly to the balance in preparation for the experimental procedure. When the Coulomb balance is unpacked, the counterweight vein is fixed to the balance with a clamp on the index arm which has to be unfastened and loosened. There are also tapes here and here and here which have to be removed. When you do that, once it's been removed, make sure the counterweight vein is swinging freely. Adjust the index arm so that the edge of the arm here is parallel to the edge of the platform here on the column balance. Using the supplied copper rings, attach copper rings to the counterweight vein so that it will be horizontal when you insert the conductive sphere onto the end of the rod. Make sure that you push the conductive sphere right in until it reaches the little ridge extension on the rod here. Then adjust the magnetic damping arm so that the counterweight vein is exactly in the middle of the air gap between the two magnets. Now we are ready to do the alignment of the torsion wire in the vertical direction. First of all, ensure that the torsion knob, turn the torsion knob until the zero degree graduation is exactly aligned with the fixed mark. Then adjust the lower torsion screw until the mark on the index arm and the mark on the rear of the counterweight vein is aligned, like so. Bear in mind that in a laboratory condition, there might be air currents due to air conditioning or open windows or even the movement of people that will affect this. So you may have to take some time and allow the system to settle down uh, before you adjust it too much. Okay, so once the marks are aligned, the system is now adjusted in a vertical direction. We will now do the similar adjustment and alignment in the horizontal position. To do this, Extend the support arm, thus so. Turn the balance on its side. Use the support tube in order to support the conductive sphere. By moving the copper rings up and down the counterweight vein, adjust the, count the copper rings in such a way that the marks are once again align. When this is done, you can remove the support tube and the counterweight vein should be horizontal. You have now completed alignment of the torsion wire in both the vertical and the horizontal positions. Bring the column balance back into its upright position. And we will now attach the slide assembly. The slide assembly is fastened to the Coulomb balance by using this plastic strip and the supplied thumb screws. If any of this movement has dislodged this counterweight vein, just do the fine adjustment to bring it back into alignment again. Take one of the conductive spheres included in the set and insert it into the tube. Insert the sphere into the vertical pillar and adjust the sliding platform 
until it reaches a distance of 3.8 centimeters, which is the distance of the sphere. Adjust the spheres until they just touch. Ensure that the spheres are both aligned horizontally and vertically. And once you are done, the marks are aligned, zero degrees on the graduation, the spheres are stable, the Coulomb balance is now ready for the experimental procedure.